So in this video, we'll do some computational exercises for what we have learned in the recent videos about the matrices. And before watching this video, you have to understand well about the matrix multiplication, uh, the meaning of a transpose of a matrix, the inverse of a matrix, and the special matrix identity. All of these are covered in the recent two or three videos before this one. And let's look at some exercises. So please look at the current problem here. You are asked to do this computation on your own. And let's do the scalar multiplication first. So 4 needs to be multiplied to all the spots here. And the upcoming 2 by 2 matrix is going to be 12, 8, 16, and 4, right? Um, and this is the matrix 4B. And if you add it to the identity, of course, identity should take the size 2 by 2, right? So when you add them, uh, you have to add one to the top left and the one to the bottom right and the remaining entries remains unchanged so you're going to get this right and the next step is to uh, find the inverse of this matrix and we haven't finished the topic about the discussion on the inverse but in the last video we have learned how to find the inverse at least for the current case of two by two matrix please recall the formula so i write down the formula for finding the inverse here again and of course sometimes um some matrices may not be invertible in the sense that A inverse may not exist, but I think this case is okay. So uh, let's find the inverse of such a matrix now. So uh, let me write it down again for this line. So basically, um, we'll apply the formula AD minus BC. So you see this scalar part is going to be 1 over minus 63, I think. And uh, the remaining is clear. We can just apply the formula here. So uh, it's going to be 5 at the top left and 13 in the bottom right and the remaining numbers I just add a minus sign to the corresponding numbers so which means that uh, the answer to this problem is going to be this one right so please look at this matrix multiplication I'm asking you to do so uh, let's write down the first matrix the size of the first matrix is 1 by 3 right because there's only one row but three columns and same for the second matrix B but uh, now you see the second matrix, you have to take the transpose. After taking the transpose, the size becomes 3 by 1. So we can write um, a single column here. And this matrix multiplication is definitely valid, right? And um, you should get back a 1 by 1 matrix after the matrix multiplication. 1 by 1 means it is just one single number, right? And to find this single number, essentially, you just have to multiply the row with the column. And uh, let's do this like this. So you see, if you do the arithmetic, it's going to be 8. So if I change the order of the two matrices for multiplication, uh, this one is vastly different. Why? Because if you look at the BT, the transpose of B is going to be one column, right? And uh, the second matrix is going to be one row. It's like this. And this matrix multiplication is still valid because, uh, you see, the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. And... Uh, the multiplication is well defined and you'll get an answer which is a 3 by 3 matrix, 3 by 3 like this. And uh, let's find this matrix by the matrix multiplication. For example, you see the first spot, you have to multiply the first row with the first column and it's only one number, right? Uh, so the first number is going to be 2 and you can do the remaining. So if you do the multiplication correctly, you're going to get this matrix. Uh, please check it yourself. For example, if you are not familiar with this, for example, like this spot. Is the position of uh, the third row and the second column, right? So it means you have to multiply minus one the third row with the second column. So it's like minus one times three. That's why it's minus three. So just a simple example for you if you forget how to do that. Now let's do a simple matrix multiplication problem. Both matrices are three by three. You take the product, uh, the size of the product is going to be the same. And please notice that when you have uh, matrices like this, uh, which only take non-zero entries on the diagonal, but it has zeros all the time off the diagonal. We call it diagonal matrix. And you will notice that if you apply the multiplication rules, um, to multiply two diagonal matrices together is actually a simple process. For example, I write in the bottom right corner here, if the size is smaller, let's say 2 by 2, you would easily notice that after applying the multiplication rule, um, you only care about the non-zero numbers on the diagonal and you just have to multiply the diagonal entries in the corresponding position by one. So the answer is going to be like this. So it's actually fairly straightforward if you're doing the multiplication of two diagonal matrices. So and similarly, it applies to a bigger matrix like 3 by 3 also. So your answer is going to be 
having zeros of the diagonal and the diagonals in that case is for example is like 2 times 4 in the first spot which is 8 second one is minus 5 the last one is 18 and uh, because of the special properties of the diagonal matrix um, if you do the matrix multiplication in another order uh, we expect that the answer is going to be unchanged but you see, uh, let me emphasize again, in general, AB is not the same as BA in general, but um, it only applies to some special cases. And in this case, it applies because when both A and B are diagonal, they are the same, right? But I would like to emphasize again, in general, these two are really not the same. And that's the end of this video.